Hey, welcome back everybody. If you guys were interested in picking up the Kindle Scribe that just got recently released uh, a couple weeks ago, I got my hands on the 64 gigabyte version. Hopefully you can catch it on the video there with this uh, premium stylus in here. Premium pin actually they call it. This has a 10.2 uh, display with the 300 ppi display which is pretty nice for uh, inking or reading books. And again, this is the new Scribe so you can actually take notes mark up the uh, books and PDFs that you have. Right now, currently, they don't have too many uh, available uh, features. Uh, it, you know, in the market right now, there's the books, Onyx, uh, Remarkable. Those are more of a dedicated, uh, like to take notes or make notes or writing. And also those have do have for reading, but like the books Onyx does have, you can read the Kindles. So we'll compare right now. Uh, we'll do another video, the more in-depth uh, uh, features of the, Kindle Scribe, but right now we'll just take a look and see, you know, just uh, just do a quick unboxing and see if you guys are interested in picking one up. These are, remember, these are have the uh, LCD here, which is very low, low uh, use of lighting and power. So it also has a warm light. So if you're reading books in the night, you can read books at night. So yeah, let's take a closer look and do a quick unboxing. I also uh, got, the, uh, got my hands on the uh, cover here so we'll also see and see how you know this fits in here and if it's worth it or you know what it is so hope you guys like this and okay, we'll do on a quick little box in here like i mentioned to you this is the uh kindle scribe just came out just got released uh i believe i think it was just uh last last week uh that it was actually released so we'll see I, i'll do another video uh of this but for right now we'll just kind of do like a quick unboxing just like if you guys wanted to see up close or anything and see what it comes with as you can see in here it does have the kindle scribe in here which is already i can tell you it's very very uh, very very thin so i uh, also compare it to uh, uh the books onyx which those also are very thin and lightweight as well it's got the hello kindle scribe here so i guess it's got a little quick a little quick rundown of what you can do here with the Kindle. It's got the power button, USB port. Shows you how the, again, the premium, uh, the premium, uh, how you say that, premium pin, sorry about that. It does come with the eraser top. So that's nice because you can use that to erase uh, when you're doing notes. Shortcut button on this well, which is nice. Power activate setup. It's kind of shows you a quick little quick step. It also has a guide on how to remove uh, the stylus to replace them in the future if you guys needed to. So that's very easy, very common. But I can maybe quickly show you guys as well. In here, you can see here the little pocket. Let's see anything else. Oh, it's got the extra nibs here. It looks like it's got five in there, but we'll take a look at least with the picture. See if it's actually five on. Oh, yes, it is. As you can see there, there's five in there. And it's got also the, the extractor that helps you remove the stylus. But fairly easy, as you can see there. So there's a very nice tips. We'll see how nice and smooth these tips are. Actually, the uh, stylus here, the pin is, oh, it's very nice. This actually kind of reminds me of the uh, Remarkable stylus as well. Again, when I do the next video, I'll do another comparison, just, uh, you know, more closer in-depth view. But today, we'll just kind of do an unboxing and overview of this, uh, what you get in here and what you can expect in here. It's got the little side here, like flat side. So I'm sure it's, again, it's so when you put it up against, it's going to go under flat. Uh, up here, it's got the uh, Amazon logo in here. Hopefully, you can catch it on the video there. And uh, here again, it's got the uh, eraser tip. And down here, it's got the stylus. And here's that button right here, the extra button. So maybe uh, since we got this out, we'll show you. If you can see here, it's got a little notch in here, this little stylus extractor. So basically, what you'll do is um, you stick your uh, stylus in here, and then you kind of like pinch it, and then that'll just, you know, hold it and they'll remove the stylus inside here. So then uh, let's say, for example, if you wanted to put another one, you can just kind of like push it in and just kind of push it in with your finger. It's not gonna come out anymore. So yeah, let's, uh, anything else here? That's all recyclable. It uh, looks like it's all, that's another thing. It looks like they're using all recyclable material, which is nice, uh, good for the environment and things. And it comes with a, uh, uh, too bad. I, I would like to have seen this USB, uh, cable not USB A type A but you know it's okay I got a lot of USB A's for which probably I'm not going to be using this because most of my 
right now everything I have is USB-C type in in there uh, so uh, let's uh, unbox this one really quick and see what we can have here it's gonna be very nice here oh yeah this, I can tell you guys right now it's a solid it looks a solid aluminum it looks like in here which is very nice because uh, it's got it's gonna be nice and solid and it's got some weight to this which is very nice uh, it's got solid in here again like I said it's got the e-ink paper type makes it e makes it nice when you're reading books uh, taking notes uh, it, it's very nice you guys gotta see this I gotta show you guys something but again in the back here you can just see it's got the uh, Amazon logo here it's got four little bumpers in there which is pretty nice because that way since this is kind of like aluminum when you lay it down if you didn't have a let's say for example you didn't have a case or anything you don't want to go ahead you don't want to scratch up the back here in the on the sides all the way around is they did a great job as you can see here it's nice and smooth and round all the way around uh the U type usb-c is here on the side power button right here and look how nice all this uh, i can tell you holding this if you're reading and holding this like at this angle or like this it's very comfortable it doesn't dig into your palms or anything if you're holding it uh in this in this manner so that's a nice thing because i've seen things that are you know kind of like uh sharp on the edges and you know if you hold it, it it actually digs into your palm and things like that so that's nice that this one uh it's nice and round all the way around all the edges here you can see the glass here and this is glass as you can see here some it's got the plastic on it but this actually has glass and it's got the separation all the way around which is nice because it's nice and separated so uh let's say you dropped it accidentally for a light drop uh, i'm sure it won't make contact with the glass so it'll, keep, it'll help you from you know breaking it so other than that it doesn't have nothing much as you can see it's just the uh, usb-c and the power button there uh so let's uh i'll go ahead and power it up uh Right now, let me see if it's charged enough. If not, uh, no, there it goes. It's got some charge into it. So uh, there, you can see the boot up uh, screen here, Kindle. And as you can see, I'm holding it here. It does have a wider edge here. So when if you want to read books and hold it, uh, you're not able. You're not tapping into the screen or anything. So you're basically put your thumb this way. This edge right here on the side, I still think that's got a nice size bezel uh, where you can still hold it. Even if, let's say this, if they wanted to actually shrink this size, I, I, to me, um, you could have actually gone with a smaller bezel here on the side, maybe same size all the way around or just a tad, uh, you know, half, maybe half of the side it is bezel now. And I can still see, you know, I can still hold it like this. I can see right there. So yeah, anyways, it's got here. Maybe I'll pause this. I'll, I'll just kind of do a real quick uh, reboot. But as you can see, before I put that away, see how clear that the fonts and lettering is on this. It's very nice, very sharp right now. Uh, let me see if it doesn't have any shortcuts or anything. No, I, I had to like probably boot it up. So yeah, let's take a quick look at the case now. Let's unbox this really fast. Um, just uh, you know, just kind of give you guys an an idea. Undo it. Bring that. Here you go. Yeah, it's a nice case there. This has got like that that color green. It's got Kindle here, so they got they want to make their mark and make a presence and let everybody know what you have. So <laughs> they really put that Kindle in there. That's pretty sharp. And here, as you can see, it has, again, it's got some instructions on how everything works. It's pretty basic. You know, you slide the stylus, you can see that, and the flap here, and it kind of shows you how you can create a stand. I'll leave this in the side just in case I can't figure it out. But again, it's showing you the uh, bottom of the tabs like I was showing you before. It's, it's going on here, and I'll show you how that goes too. It shows you how to do the uh, stand as well. Not to do it this way, it's got big X. And again, it's got the way if you can, you know, want to take notes, this is... Uh, good way to put that in there so basically again like i was showing you here um it's these little t knobs nibs there it's got oh let's do this real quick before we do that let's just do a real quick walk through of the case itself as you can see here it's got these folding edges here uh cuts in here which is nice uh other than that it's got you know more uh this part is nice and round there so that's that's pretty nice because that's going to give you the edge so be you know you're holding it here it doesn't into your hands either 
here in the back is just basically plain. Uh, it's got the uh, the loop for the uh, stylus, and it's a little bit on the longer side than I think I would like, but I, I can understand that actually is going to help uh, keep the stylus in there without having it to slide out. I'll go ahead and slide this in there so you guys. So it's got a nice, it's a nice tight fit in there. So that, that's a that's a good good thing as well because uh, at least that way you know that. It's not going to fall off or anything like that from your case there. I'll leave that in there so you guys can see. And again, it's got the nice, uh, it's got like a nice velour. It's almost like a uh, Alcantara type finish uh, material here. So that'll keep your case or your uh, Kindle uh, scribe from getting scratched up or anything. Here on the side, it's got some indentations as you can see. Hopefully the camera picks that up. And it also has a little bit of a lift here. So we'll take a look and I think that's what it is. I can see is I think it's to protect the bottom of the Kindle when you set it in there. Again, like I was mentioning, you can use these uh, nibs there to uh, kind of line it up. See how easy that was? I like when there's, you know, things that are, have ma magnetic because uh, it actually, uh, well, it doesn't hold too strong. It doesn't feel like, maybe it doesn't have magnets. So guys, be, you guys got to be careful because that actually, actually, yeah, I can't slide out. I thought it actually had some magnets. It does actually, but it's pretty weak magnet in here that, that's holding it. I can't see. You can, you, you guys, hopefully you guys can, can see that, you know, on the camera. Yeah, it's got a really weak cap, uh, cabinet, magnet. And then the other thing, it should be able to, yes, as you can see that it put the, the Kindle Scribe to sleep. So it does have that, you know, like all the cases do, they'll have that sleep and then uh, power on, on, on open. And it does have a rotation screen. Anyways, uh, it does a nice, it does go fairly quickly. Once with the case in here, it's actually looking pretty nice, as you can see here. And uh, so, yeah, if you want to protect it, this is a nice case. It actually has a little bit, the lips or the side lip part does come out a little bit in the waist so you know it actually will help protect your Kindle as well as you can see here see how far in the Kindle is inside there and up above you can see the edge there how it's uh you know just kind of like coming past that so now let's try to go ahead and um like they were showing here we got the um, fold here you can do this or I would have to actually take that stylus from here let me do that so I can show you guys Let's do this right. Actually, this, that's one one way that you can leave that case in there. And let's say you're taking notes. So now you, uh, you're writing, taking notes. You can have it flat on your desk or anything like that if you wanted to. Or you could also just, uh, you know, put, let me see. I should be able to put that at that angle as you can see here. Like it was showing you that you can put, it's kind of like a little diamond or pyramid there. So that'll give you the uh, the edge here. So you would be, you know, taking notes. Uh, as you can see here, it actually picked that up already. And, you know, taking notes and anything like that. So it's at an angle there. And then again, if you wanted to actually uh, stand it up as a kind of a stand, uh, you can also... I believe it was this direction. Let's take a, let me, let's pull out the really quick instructions. Uh, it, oh, it, it actually, we almost had it. It actually goes this way. As you can see here, if you wanna do a stand. So that's that's very nice. It's, it actually feels pretty solid. So uh, at least you know it's not gonna, it's not gonna come, come off or anything. It's pretty solid. So you, you don't have to worry about it falling off. So yeah, that's very nice. Uh, actually, you can keep it that way as well. And actually that works better. As you can see here, it's, it's actually more solid. Yeah, look how I'm actually pushing pretty hard and it's not falling down. So yeah, once again, this is the, the Kindle Scribe. This is the 64 gigabyte edition uh, with the premium stylus. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in picking it up, now you know, hopefully this can help you guys make a decision whether you want to pick one up or not. I got to tell you, the materials on it is very solid. Uh, it's well built so far. I'll do a more video uh, on this. 
But uh, maybe if you guys, uh, I'll just do a quick, uh, I'll start it up, I'll pause this, and I'll start it up, and maybe I'll do a quick write, see what the, how, how much, it, if it has any kind of lag or anything on the uh, scribing there, okay? Let's take a quick look. All right, so it's, uh, as, as you can see, it's loading up already. The e-ink type display is super clear, I can tell you guys. Uh, I, I don't, hopefully the camera can actually capture how, you know, how clear this, this is as well, you know, for the fonts and things like this, because they'll be nice and crisp. Like it's showing here, hopefully it does capture that. So yeah, uh, let's see if we can hurry up. Okay, so yeah, it's, so it's loading up the uh, updates. So that's what you're gonna encounter if you guys happen to pick one up. It's you know time. It's got at least this one came with 59% battery life. So that's nice to um, some semi you know charged up. So it gets you started right away if you you know anxious to use it right away. But again, let me see. Oh, oh no, oh, I thought that did so. Okay, so it's restarting. So while it's restarting, as you can see here, see how actually that that's pretty nice. Uh, it's it actually has some good good magnet there too. It's pretty solid. I mean, sure it can come off, but it's don't come out that easy. Whoa, that was a nice turn there. So yeah, it's pretty solid up here. It doesn't have nothing, nothing here. Of course, it's not going to have anything there. So yeah, so basically, it's just going to hook up on the side. So that's nice too. So that way, you can put the stylus where you're. Let's say you're on your desk reading or taking the notes or uh, marking up any. So yeah, it's, it's loading up there. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't take too much longer. Maybe I'll just do a little, another little quick pause and then we'll come back to it. All right, so it's uh, successfully uh, finished loading it up. So now it's going to do another, I guess, another restarting. So we'll. Just kind of once it restarts, we'll see how fast it can restart. There it goes, it's restarting now. So I don't know. It seems to be pretty snappy so far, as far as I can see. It, it does feel snappy. So hopefully it does stay that way. And um, you know, it doesn't have no lag or anything like that, especially when you're writing or taking notes, because that's where it can be very slow. All right, so it's, it looks like it's finished doing its thing. We'll do a, just a quick, let's just open up uh, just one sample. It's updating the store experience. Uh, let's see, read now. Just I just want to show you guys, as you can see the fonts, how, 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 how clear it is. It's downloading the book here for the sample. So we'll, we'll take a quick look. And that way you guys can see the speed of this, how quickly this is done. Uh, so far it's good. I'm sure it's doing things in the background and things like that. So, you know, I can expect it maybe be a little on the slow. And then if you go down, because if you, if you, uh, you know, if you, you want to keep a dark mode, it keeps everything dark. And then often, oh, it's got, so turn off the Bluetooth and the um, Wi-Fi. And then again, it's got um, for sync. So you can place your note as you can see there. Let me move it here. Uh, as you can see there, once you put the note, uh, tap on the page, you place the note exactly where you want it. So exact, let's go, okay, it gives you writing tools, tap to choose the pin. So it gives you tap the pin. So next, um, undo and redo these down here in the bottom. So that's kind of simple, which is nice to kind of keep everything. So I'm gonna just put testing. Hey, this is, uh, I gotta tell you guys, this is, it's got nice paper feel writing to this. Yeah, it's. It, uh, I gotta tell you guys, it's it's good. Um, it's it's a great writing experience on this. Here's the eraser. It erases. Oh, that erases very 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 nice. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's working great. And then uh, handwritten note, test. So yeah, but I wanted to show you guys, so if you guys create one uh, notebook, it gives you different templates. So that's pretty nice. So you can create one or, you know, see blank lines, you know, so it's got, it's got fairly different um, paper templates. So that's very nice. You can see that, you know, here you go. And then if you create, create, so now you got that type of template, so you can do uh you know, whatever, Kindle, Scribe, 64 gigabyte. And then you can either, you can either erase, see how quickly that, again, it's very responsive. Now it does, it's got that, you can see that it's got that little 
leaves a little mark in there so you can see tap on it and it gives you that test see how snappy it is it's very snappy it is it's very nice so you can actually go and then you can go back to home here main toolbars view your annotations so I'm gonna go home and uh, it's got yeah so yeah it's very snappy yeah but yeah so it's very snappy again if you guys are interested in picking this up uh, hope this helps you know gives you the kind of like an overview of you know what the Kindle scribe is again this is a, it comes in a 16 gigabyte 32 gigabyte and it also comes in a 64 gigabyte this happens to be the uh, let's see what do, what do we get here uh, this is the 64 gigabyte premium pin with the premium pin edition on there so yeah see it's got everything in here yeah yeah let me know uh, if you have any comments leave them below and I'll, I'll I want to I'll get back to you as soon as I can possible so yeah I hope this helps Thanks for watching.